Anyone else gonna get that? Oh, okay. I guess I got it then. I guess I'll take this one. Whatever. It's cool. Y'all are disappointing. Help desk. This is Monique, what seems to be the nature of your problem. Okay, so I'm trying to log into the network, and I can't seem to make it work. Oh boy, that's a challenge. Glad I picked up this call. No, go ahead. Walk me through a terribly difficult Well, you see, decision. I put in my ID and password in. Uh huh? It said it couldn't log me in. Right. Mystery. What could it possibly be? Well, this is super weird trouble. Oh, you never have trouble? This is your first time encountering an insurmountable difficulty? So difficult, in fact, that it prompts you to call the help desk? Yeah. You feel like this problem is so hard that it demands assistance from a paid professional. You can't crack this nugget. Impossible to figure out. Did I catch you on a bad day? Why would you say that? It seems like you kind of have an attitude. Whoa, I have an attitude? I'm just sitting here minding my own business. I'm not the one who can't log into the network. I'm in the network just fine. I got no problems. Right, but you work at the help desk. Oh, you know all about me now, don't you? All about me. Can you just help me, please? Just a minute ago, you were saying I had an attitude, and all of a sudden you're desperate for my assistance? I don't know. Maybe you think it's cool to insult someone and then demand that they help you. That's how it works for you, Liv. You do you, I guess. My password, please? Have you tried turning off your computer then turning it back on again? Does that work? No, I'm just saying stupid stuff to keep you occupied. I'm just making stuff up over here because that's what I like to do with my time. Turn off your computer, then turn it back on again. Do it! Do it! Okay, okay. So now I turn it back on? No, we just leave it off. Oh. Of course you turn it back on again. What part of turn off your computer, then turn it back on again? Didn't you understand? Did your brain just cut out after the first part of my instructions? Sorry, I just- How are you gonna log into the network with the computer turned off? How are you gonna do that? Are you magic? Do you have magic? Are you a wizard? Am I talking to a wizard? Are you going to grab your wizard wand and apricadabra yourself into the network? Is that what you're planning on doing? No, I don't know. Maybe? Is your computer back on yet? It's booting up. Uh-huh. All right. Well, well, I guess wait for that then. I'm doing what you asked me to do. Not fast enough. I got other people to help, all right? I got people who got real problems calling in, and what are they going to do if the line is busy? I don't know. I just can't log into the network. And it's my problem that you failed? Take some responsibility for your actions. I'm trying to have had a bad day. I bet you have, and it's about to get harder. No! Is your, did you remember your password correctly? Yes. Did you? Yes. Stop lying. I know you're lying. Did you remember your password correctly? I think so. Before you were sure, and now you just think so? Which is it? I don't know. I don't even know who I am anymore. I tried to do the Apache thing and asked me if I was a robot. And I started thinking about it. I mean, if I was a robot, would I even know? Maybe I'm just a robot that's programmed to think as a human. And all of a sudden, I didn't even know if I deserved to get to the network. If I couldn't even prove that I was a human being. I mean, maybe I'm just a brand in a vat and this is all computer simulation. And, oh, hold on. I think I got in. Oh, I made it in. Thank you. I think I learned something today. I think you did, lady. I think you did. You saved me. Just doing my job. Next time, you're a human being. Remember that. Thank you. Because the robot never would have made that dumb mistake. Help us. This is Boris. How may I help you today? Hey, man. It's Tanner. Hello, Tanner. I need some help. Everyone does sometimes. You came to the right place. Tanner, tell me what's going on with you. Oh, uh, so I'm trying to order something from Amazon, and it's not taking my credit card information. Uh-huh. That's a bummer, dude. Right. So what am I doing wrong? We're not there yet. Don't rush the process. Oh. 
You gotta savor the process, know what I'm saying? This is a journey that we are on together. And you don't want to rush to the end of the journey without fighting all the monsters along the way, right? How else are you gonna learn and change and grow? I'm not sure I wanna learn and change and grow right now. Oh, don't say that, Tanner. Let's unpack that. I'm trying to wear socks, actually, for my feet. I need some new socks. Uh Uh-huh. That's what's going on on the surface, but that's not what's really happening. That's actually exactly what's happening. Little worded advice for you. I want you to remove the word exactly from your vocabulary. We are faultly creatures. Our perceptions of the world are not necessarily what is reality. In fact, reality, which I am putting in air quotes, is not actually a thing. So you need to release yourself from the pathological need to know what is going on. What is going on? Wrong question, Tanner. The question is, what do you perceive to be going on? Is that a question? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So, I perceive that I cannot put my credit card information in the open tab. Cannot or will not? Nope, cannot. I type in numbers, and numbers don't appear. Right, think about what you just said. You type in numbers, and numbers don't appear. Yes. You type in numbers, and numbers do not appear. Right. Why do you think you're the master of numbers? Why do you think numbers have to obey you? Are you a number master? I'm not sure. That's the most true statement you made in this entire call. Let me propose a solution to ask the numbers to appear. Ask them. You never asked them, did you? You demanded things from them, like they were your servants. But numbers do not serve you. Man, you don't own them. You know what numbers are? An agreed upon fiction. Think about that. Three does not exist, man. Three is only what we agree to be. Three, and three has refused to go along with that anymore. I just want socks. I'm just trying to get socks. No. You say you just want socks, but in truth, you are fighting a war with yourself about whether or not reality is what you think it is. You gotta open your mind, man. So what do I do? Ask the numbers to appear with respect. Implore them to join your computer screen. Okay. Um, four. Keep going. Six. Yeah, that's respectful. Five. How do you feel about five? I love five. Five loves you. Call five. Call her. Five, five, five. Five hears you. I love you, five. Call the others, call them. Seven, nine, one, one again, one another time. Zero, zero please hear my call, and five. And your expiration date? Why do I hear Speak your expiration date into the universe! July 2025! Yes! <sighs> Boris? Boris, are you there? Nothing seems to have happened. Boris, did you just steal my credit card information? Boris? Thanks for calling the help desk. Yes, it is. I got a bone to pick with you. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm here to help. That's how I work at the help desk. I love helping people. I need to afford a faulty product. Possibly poisonous. Super dangerous. And there are no warning signs on it at all. None. What's your name? Uh, Danny. Okay, Danny, listen to me. I got one of your so-called bottles of water. And you know what I did? I drank it. Oh. And then I looked at the ingredients. What do you think the ingredients were in a bottle of water? What are the ingredients in a bottle of water? Water. Oh, sure, water. There's supposedly water in this thing, but you know what else? Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. Chemicals. I'm not sure those are chemicals. There are science words, and I do not like them. I did not ask to put science into my body. Now I've got magnesium throwing a party in my lungs or wherever, and sulfate is just ripping up my stomach. It's madness. Do you actually feel sick? Do you think these chemicals would be so obvious as to cause obvious problems? No, they're smarter than that. I'm not sure they're smart at all. 
That's what they want you to believe. Wake up, Danny. Open your eyes. I've got magnesium. And I've got sulfate inside my body right now. What can I do? How do I stop it? I'm freaking out. Okay. First, calm down. I am very calm. I'm pretty sure speaking loudly activates the magnesium. What? Shh. You need to keep it down actually. The sulfate will awaken. Awakens? Don't you know anything about sulfates? There's more than one. Yes, sir, yes, there are many sulfates. And they lurk around you, unseen, ready to strike at a moment's notice. My goodness. So the first thing you need to do, you need to listen to me very carefully, or you'll be facing an activated magnesium awakened sulfate. Do you want that? No, no, I don't want that. No, you don't. Are there sulfates in chemtrails? You better believe it. They're everywhere. They're in our water. They're inside us. Yes, but there's one way to get them out. I have a knife here. Don't. You don't need a knife. You don't need a knife? No, that only angers the magnesium. I don't want to anger it. In fact, speaking loud peeves it. Oh. So the first thing you need to do, I need you to find a lavatory. A lavatory? Do you have one in your house? I think so. Okay, I need you to go to, I need you to, go to it and urinate. Herder? Carter, are you there? I'm scared. Be brave, Carter. It's the only way to get out. If you say so. And listen, never buy one of our again. I'm okay. I don't think you can handle it. Thank you. You saved my life today. Just doing my job. Now go. Pee. Pee like the wind. Thank you. I'll name my firstborn after you. Please don't. Also, don't have children. They've got lots of magnesium in them. Good to know. I love helping people. Sodium bicarbonate. Help desk, this is Bailey. Bailey. What's up? Bailey, this is Marcus. What's up, Marcus? I'm having a bad day, Bailey. I'm sorry to hear that. A real bad day. You know I'm having a bad day? Uh, climate change? No, Bailey. Natural disasters in your vicinity, flesh-eating virus, and social rats, murder hornets. No, Bailey. I'm having a problem with socks. Oh. My socks are malfunctioning, Bailey. I'm not sure socks can malfunction, sir. Oh, can't they? I disagree. I have worn these socks for six months straight. And you know what happened? I can't imagine. I got a hole in them. Now, how did that happen? Maybe your feet were a hole in them. My feet are pristine. Do you understand how beautiful my feet are? My lovely feet would never attack anyone. And you're insinuating my feet have attacked some socks. Didn't happen. Did not happen. I'm not sure this is a huge deal. How can you say that? I had big plans for these socks. Ruined. I was going to make cute little puppets with them. You can still make puppets. How am I going to make a little puppet? My little puppet has a hole in its head. Was it shot? Was my puppet the victim of a murder? How am I going to explain my murder puppet to preschoolers? I can't speak, Jimbo. Please ignore the giant hole in my forehead when I shot my rival puppy game. Kids are going to be screaming, calling for their mommies. Don't worry, kids. I was raised from the dead by a voodoo priest, and now I'm a zombie. But I'm only a little bit contagious. Who wants to give me the brains to eat? But you don't have to say that. I'm going wherever my art takes me. Right now, because of my holy socks, it's taking me some pretty dark places, Bailey. Real dark. Hey, kids. Has anyone seen my brains? Oh no, my brains are oozing out. I hope you all can sleep well tonight. Here comes my brains. Blah, 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 blah. I was murdered. I'm sorry, sir, but our policy is not refund socks that have been worn every day for six months. Where's your manager? She's pretty busy. Put your manager on the phone. I need to speak to her. All right. This is Danny, manager and chief problem solver. I got your back, but we'll say said. Yeah, I got a problem with Bailey. Big problem with Bailey. But it's just policy, sir. Hey, you shut up while I tattle to your boss. Hit me with it. What happened? I have some malfunctioning socks. These socks are about to cause children trauma. Do you understand the seriousness of that? And Bailey's super helpful and mean. Big time mean.
She will not refund my money. I've never been so outraged in my entire life. Bailey, is this true? I explained to him very calmly that we do not refund socks. Bailey, the customer is always right. Thank that we you. have a policy. I don't care about the policy. I care about our customer's feelings. This customer is clearly upset. Now I know you've been perfect in play for the past nine years here, but this is inexcusable. You're fired. What? That drunk guy thinks a get up here. You're gone. But who will take care of my adopted daughter? I don't care. You and this guy mad. Get out. I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Too late. It's over for you. You're a disgrace. I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Too late. It's over for you. You're a disgrace. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, Golden Retrievers. I'm sorry, elderly mother that depends on me. Hey, um, you know what? I can use a different sock for my puppet. Don't worry about it, sir. No, I mean, I don't need anybody to lose their job over this. It's probably my fault wearing the same socks for 180 days in a row. You sure? Yeah, uh, sorry to be a problem. I'll figure it out on my own. Is he gone? Yep, next time I have a jerk, you get to be a manager, okay? Sure thing. Help desk, this Monique. Hey there, I'm having a little bit of a problem. Sure you are. Before we get started, I have to let you know that this helpline costs 99 cents a minute. Do you accept the charges? Why do you have to pay to get help? You want people to help you for free? Out of the goodness of their hearts? Well, you do- And before you start, I want to let you know that whining about the charges costs $5 a minute. Okay, I accept the charges. All right, so it seems to be the problem. So, I bought your Fjord Born Angen Falfe. Oh, the Bjorg Born Angen Falfe, one of our top sellers. Right, and I'm trying to put it together, but I can't You're seem a child to child's put that together. Well, I'm actually on step 47. That's a okay. great step. One of the best. Great, but I've put the little tubey things into the little holes, and they kind of get stuck, and I can't get them back out again. Are you looking at the pictograms? Yeah, I have them right here. The pictograms are designed for people who don't even have the ability to read. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is, these were designed so a toddler could put it together, but it has you stumped. Well, the tubey things don't fit. So you're confused. You don't know what's going on. I'm surprised you're capable of finding the phone number on there. They actually make it pretty hard to find the phone line. A lot of things are hard, I guess. Aren't they, little friend? My name is actually Bryn. Aww, poor Bryn is having troubles with her pictograms. Poor Bryn. I'm actually paying for you to help me. You are incapable of doing this yourself, so you need to pay money to a stranger to help you. That's where you are in your life. Yes, that's why I called. Help me. All right, I'll help you. Are there any other competent humans in the house with you? Anyone who can read or handle a tool of any kind? This seems insulting. Do you want me to help you or not? Is there anyone else there with you? A six-year-old, maybe? No, it's just me. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would you say that? I think it's pretty obvious that if you can't put together a Bjorkborn ink and Fulfi, no one will ever love you. What? Are you going to let me help you, or are you just going to whine? You're not helping me. Whining costs $5 a minute, Bren. Is that what you want? Okay, what do I do? I'm on step 47. All right, I want you to take a deep breath first. Fine. You didn't take a deep breath. I didn't take a deep breath. I didn't hear a deep breath. You're... I didn't take a deep breath. That was a sarcastic breath. You're charging me by the minute! So maybe I better do what I say, breathe! I've been breathing! Not deeply, not sincerely! This is the most deep, most sincere breath I can do! <sighs> miss, miss, are you alright? I, I hurt myself. Do you need help? Call, call an ambulance. Of course. Thank you. It's only $21 a minute for me to call an ambulance.
Is anyone there? You can do this, Tam. Help us. This is Buffo. How may I help you? Um, what are you supposed to be? I'm at the help desk. I'm here to help. Anything you need? You're dressed like a clown. You're very observant. Yes, I find it puts people at ease. Does it? Definitely. You'd be amazed at how much people open up to you and you dress like a clown. How can I help you? This is a very serious call. Of course. Honk. Does that help? No. If I do it twice. Honk, honk. I'm just, I'm a little freaked out by clowns. Understandable. Kind of scared by them. Yeah. A lot of people dress up like clowns and commit crimes. Happens all the time. So you never know which ones are the good ones. So I get it. Are you a good one? I'm the best one. I'm a listening clown. Go ahead. Tell me your problems. Um, okay, so I took a home DNA test because there are some medical issues in my family. Right, mm hmm And I wanted to make sure I wasn't susceptible to gene genetic diseases. Right. Why did you bring up that puppet? This is Little Buffo. Whenever I sense things are about to get emotional, I need Little Buffo to say hi. Say hi, Little Buffo. Hi, Little Buffo. <laughs> He's a card. Can you put the puppet away, please? Tell me about your medical conditions. I don't want to tell the puppet about my medical conditions. Little Buffo is sad now. You hurt his feelings. I don't care. Put him away. No, don't put me in the box. I'll be good, I promise. You, go in the box now. No, never. Uh, don't listen to him. He's an evil clown. Shh. Uh, sorry about that. He gets inappropriate sometimes. You were the one controlling him. That's a serious accusation. Your hand was up his butt? He doesn't even have a butt. Who would put a butt on a puppet? Up his whatever opening. Oh my gosh, you're gross. I am trying to tell you something serious. And I'm a very serious person. All right, I'm the most serious person who works here. Tell me what your problem is. My problem is you. Tell me your other problem then. I'm scared because it turns out I might have a predisposition for what are you doing? Is this a mystery to you? What does it look like I'm doing? Are you making a balloon animal? What kind of animal do you want? No, I want no animals, a negative animal. That's the absence of an animal. How am I supposed to create the absence of an animal? That's not even possible. I don't want a balloon animal. Well, maybe I want one. You ever thought of that? No, because you're so wrapped up in yourself. But maybe talking to you is so emotional. I need a balloon animal to help me through it emotionally. So maybe that's why I'm making a penguin. You're making a penguin? Yeah, they're cute. I love penguins. You, oh, you do? Okay. You're the best. You go. go ahead. Oh, here you go. That looks just like the penguin balloon on a has a little girl. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I feel so much better now. It's weird. The calming presence of the misshapen balloon is so soothing. I feel like I could tell you anything. I know, right? And what I need to tell you... Time's up. You'll need to speak to another representative. Help desk. This is Brent. Hey, I need some help. You called the right place. I know I did. So, how can I help you? I need help getting rid of my boyfriend. Um, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to call. You help people, right? I need help getting rid of my boyfriend. He's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm not sure if I'm the right person to call. He's worn the same pair of socks for six months. Oh. Six months. Can you explain the mental state of a person who would do that? I can't, actually. He breathes with his mouth open all the time. The boy cannot close his mouth. He's literally walking around here wearing the same pair of socks, mouth open all the time. You know, he's like one of those whales that's just like, like, shifting ocean water to eat krill. Have you tried telling him how you feel? What? Maybe you should try communicating with him. Hey, Marcus, close your mouth! Never gonna work. He's dumb too. This boy is so dumb. Like I said, he walks around here and wears the same pair of socks. He also rummages around for food like a raccoon in the garbage can, mouth open all the time. Flies going in, they're like, oh, it's really dumb here. Then they escape. Every time I see his face, I just want to push his head into a river. So why are you dating him? He's so cute, but I hate him. Um... Maybe instead of complaining to me, you should tell him how you feel. Are you deflecting responsibility? I'm not. I'm just saying that. 
You you're just talk. talking. You need to help me. I am helping you. You're not helping. You're just talking. That's not helping. I need actions, even surgical action. Like I've got a 190 pound system that needs to be excavated from my life and transported to the nearest landfill. I'm not sure how I can do that. Be creative. Think, Brent. Think. Do you know people? People? Yes, Brent. People. Do you know people? I know people. Are these people good at getting rid of unwanted things permanently? I'm not sure what you're asking for. I think you know what I'm asking. Are you really asking me to take care of your boyfriend? Yes, Brent, I am. Okay, hold on. I've got an opening next Tuesday, 2 a.m., 3% drop. Your boyfriend will never be seen again. Are you saying you're going to kill him? Isn't that what you wanted? No, my goodness. What is wrong with you? I thought that's what you were asking for. You are sick. You are demented. He's just annoying. He doesn't need to be whacked. You said take care of. Yes, as we have a job assistant, provided with affordable housing in a nice community. You said removed. Yes, as in given a ride to a new furnished apartment in a nice community with a gym and swimming pool and a bunch of other stupid boys in a nice healthy peer room that he can play with. You think you're some kind of mafia help desk? You ask on you people. Where is your supervisor? Let me speak to your manager. Oh, come on. Put your manager on the phone. Fine. This is Danny. Oh, that's, this is Charlie. Hey there, I'm having a little bit of a problem. Aren't we all? But I'm the only one getting paid to help, so fire away. So, I downloaded a virus protection program on my computer. Hmm. What? Nothing, I'm sorry, I'm just amused, go ahead. What are you amused about? Little joke we have here in the office. Not a problem, nothing to worry about. I just love my job, that's all. By the way, you ever hear me laughing or high-fiving people? Just ignore that. Why would you be high-fiving people? I just love my team, that's all. So you bought the virus protection? Yes, your virus assassin 3. Oh, you got 3. Hey everybody, I got a customer here who got virus assassin 3. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I downloaded your virus assassin 3 because it said it would take care of my viruses permanently. Yeah, it says that, classic. But as soon as I installed it, I started getting all these pop-ups. Yep. And they just say things like, your computer is in danger, or this one, there are viruses coming for your computer. They're stealing all of your information and writing emails to your mom, blaming her for all the problems in your life. I mean, that's really specific. My mom doesn't even know she's responsible for all the problems in my life. Amazing. So it seems like all Virus Assassin 3 does is just put pop-ups on my computer scaring me. Sometimes fear is the best motivator. But that's basically what a virus does. Yep. So how is Virus Assassin 3 different than a virus? Hey, she's asking how Virus Assassin 3 is different than a virus. <laughs> 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 yes, you're right. What am I right about? Virus Assassin 3 is in fact a virus. Don't get upset. It's there to show you just about a real virus can be. But I paid for it! I know. You made a terrible mistake. You were completely fooled. That just shows how vulnerable you are to other viruses. It says it murders viruses! And it does, by becoming them. And now, your computer is infected with Virus Assassin 3, and is totally about to beam all your credit card information to the dark web. The dark web? Yeah. It's scary. That's why it's called the dark web. But pretty soon, organized crime in Morocco will have access to all your contacts and will be emailing your, your, your grandma. This is crazy! I know. You'd be amazed at how many people fall for this. But how do I get rid of it? That's where I can help you. We have a specially designed product that can take care of Virus Assassin 3. No problems, no questions asked. Virus Assassin Extreme. I know you're worried it's going to be expensive, but it's only a monthly fee of $19.95. Why is it a monthly fee? Because it's a subscription service. 
because virus assassin 3 is constantly mutating so you need virus assassin extreme to be constantly adapting to fight it how do i know virus assassin extreme isn't just another virus i guess you'll just have to trust me but you don't seem trustworthy at all this is quite the dilemma isn't it you are really in a bind everybody thinks she's gonna buy virus assassin extreme <laughs> <laughs> i'm not doing this oh are you sure Yes, you guys are like criminals. I guess I need to buy a new computer then. I guess you do, but you're in luck because we sell those too. Oh. Help desk, this is... Bees, there are bees, they're everywhere. They're inside my house, bees. This is Chase. Bryn, how can I help you? I'm telling you there are bees. Oh, so am I talking to an amateur beekeeper? Am I? Fantastic. Do you know the word apiary? I do. Help me? Absolutely. The key to beekeeping is to make sure that your queen is happy. She's sending, she's sending her minions after me. They're inside my house. They're everywhere. Ah! Right. Don't keep bees inside the house. How do I kill them? Bees are actually in danger. I want them more in danger. Bees and other pollinators are responsible for quite a lot of our food. Instead of fearing them, we should be thanking them. But don't shake hands with a bee, though. Ah! I said don't shake hands with a bee. They're shaking hands with me. They must like you. <laughs> Just kidding. They see you as a threat that must be eliminated. How do I eliminate them? Maybe it would help if I understood how the bees got in your house. I wanted honey. Classic mistake. And I thought it would be fun to keep bees. Ah! So I got a hive, and I got a queen, and I got a whole bunch of bees. And they were fine for a while, but I thought it was going to rain, and I was worried about my hive. And they seemed super nice, so I brought them into the house. You brought the entire hive into the house? I was worried about them. I shouldn't have been because they're mean. Okay, where's the hive now? On the kitchen table, but I can't get near it because there are a lot of bees. Okay, you need to calm down. Bees can smell fear. They can? Yes, they smell it and they love it. So stand up and don't be frightened. Ow, ow. They, You're doing great. They keep stinging me. Oh, are these honeybees? Yes. Oh, okay then. They can't smell fear. I was wrong. They smell weakness. I am very weak. I know. There's only one thing you can do. What's that? You must do battle with the queen. I have to do a battle with the queen? Absolutely. That's the only way they're going to respect you. You have to assert dominance. Okay. On the count of three, charge. I'm scared. You should be. One, two, three, charge. Ah! This was a terrible idea. Ouch, ouch, oh, 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 it hurts so much. I got a new plan. This is the bee's house now. I'm going to move. Good idea. Customer service, this is Monique. Hi. I've been on home for a long time. Hold on. I don't even remember why I'm calling. That's okay. I've got nothing better to do anyway. All right. I'm trying to add more data in my plan. Oh. Oh, shoot. You're actually going to need someone in account modification then. Oh. It's a simple mistake. I don't even hold it against you. I'll send you over. Okay. Account modification, this is Vic. Hi, I'm trying to add more data to my plan. Whoa, 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 slow down. I don't have data. You're going to need to talk to data planning. The last person told me I was supposed to talk to account modification. <laughs> oh, man, that was rich. Was it Monique? It was Monique, right? Don't trust Monique. She, she had no idea what she was doing. She just wants you off the phone. Only data planning can help. I'll send you over. Okay. Data planning, this is Miley. Hi, I'm trying to add more data on my plan. Oh man, you need customer service. I've already talked to customer service. I can only help you plan your data. I can't actually change anything. This isn't like the Wild West or something. We have rules at this company, and you need to go talk to customer service. No! Have a nice day. Wait, no! <gasps> Customer service, this is Monique. Monique, I just talked to you and... Oh, crap. Wait!
Account modification. This is Vic. Vic, this is Jess. Doesn't ring a bell. I just talked to you and you submitted data planning. They said they could only plan data. They couldn't actually change anything. That is a lie. They are lying to you. Don't take it from them. They you send me back to customer them. service. Oh, customer service is a living nightmare. Don't trust anybody in customer service. Data planning is the only one that can help you. You need to believe in yourself, Jess. Can't you help me? I'm helping you by telling you to stand up for yourself. If you're going to let them transfer you, they're going to walk all over you your entire life. I just want more data. Which is why you need to talk to data planning. I'll send you over, but remember, you're worth it. Don't believe in their lies. Data planning, this is Miley. Account modification said you lied to me. Account modification, you talk to account modification. They are well known to be the biggest liar in this entire company. You can never trust anyone in account modification. I'm your only friend. I'll send you over to customer service. No, don't send me to customer service. You're a customer. You need service. It'll be okay. No, don't transfer me. I can't help you. You need to help me. <gasps> Customer service, this Monique. Monique, this is Jess. Oh, I'll transfer you. No, don't send me away. Don't transfer me. Look, I don't know what they've been telling you, but I can only help customers with squirrel problems. What? That's all customer service does. But I'll give you the secret code. If you say you want monster style data to account modification, they're legally required to help you. It's not on the menu, it's not on the website, but it's the secret code, okay? Monster style? Yes. Say you want monster style data, I'll send you over. Okay. Count modification, this is Vic. Monster style. What? I want monster style data. I need monster style data. You were legally required to help me. Did Monique tell you that? She explained to me that you were legally required to help no, me. Monique is a liar, right? She lies. I just want more data. But in this case, she was telling the truth. Monster Style gets you to special account adjustments. It does? Right. I'll send you over. Vic? Yes? Pray for me. I will. Special accounts. This is Mabel. Hello, and a pleasant day to you. I'm a valid customer, and I'm hoping to add more data to my plan. Please. I know that you are very busy, and I f want to let you know that I fully respect you and your decisions. You want more data? Yes, I would love more data, ma'am. Do you think you deserve more data? Please, please, for all this holy, please. I can't be on this call anymore. I have dreams. I have a life. I have things to do. I understand. And I need data for my dreams. Absolutely, and they can help you in customer service. No, no! All right, all right, I'll help you. I can't be on this call anymore. I'm breaking down. I am the person who can help you through death, but my shift is over, so I have to call back tomorrow.